How to make a vector snow background in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today it is snowing in my home state of Oklahoma. Um, here in November, which is really strange. It doesn't normally do that this early in the season. Um, we may not even get snow all year sometimes. So anyway, I thought I would just put together a quick tutorial talking about how you might build a sort of snowy background made of vector shapes. And we're going to use some stuff like the freeform gradient tool that's new to 2019. Um, and then we're going to use some uh, symbol uh, tools over here, sprayer, shifter, all that stuff. So let's just jump in. First, I am going to create a backdrop. And I don't really need... I don't really need a bleed, so let me get rid of that while I'm at it. Let's just get rid of a bleed. Boom. All right. I'm going to create this, bring it in here. Um, let's just keep it white for now is fine. I am going to click the freeform gradient tool. And <clears throat> I'm going to use this one and make it some sort of like kind of a dark blue. I like that. That'll look good. We're going to add a few nodes that look like that, that are dark blue, and make that work. OK, then let's get this one. And this one can be maybe more of our light blue, um, something like that, I think, would look good. And we'll throw that one around as well. And maybe, maybe we'll have these pieces come out a little bit more. Something along that line. Let's see. I want to make that 25 again. Something like that. And then maybe this will be like really light blue, you know. We do maybe something in there. So just kind of, you know, trying to make it look like there's lots of color here, um, but we don't we don't want it all to be the same, and we just kind of want to have there to be highlights, shadows. I don't really want this to look so. I don't know. It's a little too. Let's try pulling this back a little bit. Um, it it just looks a little man-made at the moment. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get it to look a little more random and less structured. I put that there. Oh, it went away. I didn't want you to go away. No, don't leave. Let's see how that looks. For now, that may work just fine. Maybe we come up a little bit on this one just to darken it. And then this one can be darker too. Anyway, you just play with it until you get it to where you like it. Um, yeah, maybe even just a little darker there. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go with that for now. Then I'd say we probably need to get some snowflakes. And I've already got some somewhere. I think they're in here. Vector snowflakes. Do I have those? So you can easily go find stuff like this. Um, Vecteasy.com is a good place. Or you can make your own, but, you know, um, it's pretty easy to make these things if you want to, but it's also really easy to find them. And I'm just going to grab this one over here for the purposes of this tutorial. We'll come in here and make this a symbol. So I'm in my symbols tab over here. I'm going to click and drag over to create a symbol, and we'll just call it Snowflake. And it's a graphic, and that's all good. So now it's over there. Um, I can delete that for now. I'm going to get the symbol sprayer tool and just paint a bunch of these. So just click and hold and just do like this. Yeah, you want a ton. And it's going to look like garbage at first, but we'll fix it. So don't worry. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lots and lots. So now let's get the, I want the sizer tool. 
And if I just click, they'll get bigger, right? So we don't really want that. We want them to get smaller. So what you want to do is hold down the Alt key and you can make them smaller. But I want some of them to be big, so just make it random. You know, you don't want this to be all the same. Um, I do want these significantly smaller, though. I think overall everything probably needs to be shrunk down, and what I could have done is made a smaller symbol to begin with. That might have been helpful. But this is more um, noticeable, I think, uh, for viewing purposes in the tutorial. You guys will see that these things are getting significantly smaller as we go. And you can change the um, abilities. If you if you click on here, you can. There's intensity and symbol density and stuff like that that you can change if you uh, if you need to. There's the size too. That's the diameter of the area you're affecting. Um, and sometimes you need to do that. But uh, again, not for this one. I think we're okay just kind of doing this. Let's see how that looks for now. I'd say let's do the um, symbol spinner tool next. So this will just give the snowflakes random directions, um, and just so not just so they're not all facing the exact same direction. You know, just kind of spinning everything it randomizes it a little. Then we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab the shifter. Whoop! I got the wrong one shifter tool and we're going to just kind of move these back onto the artboard the ones that are far off to the side kind of do like this i still want most of this to be um, covered with snow and we may have to end up deleting some of these it's an awful lot um, but we'll see how it looks when we start doing um, the screener which will be coming up next. I kind of just paint them in. And, you know, there are some areas that might might be a little looser than others, but for the most part, um, this should kind of cover everything. Okay, we'll go with that for now. Let's try the symbol stainer. Not the stainer, the screener. There we go. And then if I click, you'll see, ooh, it just made it to where these are uh, some of them very uh, low in transparency and some of them are high so just makes for a nice random look again so some of them look like they're closer and some of them are further in the background now I don't know that I want any of them to be terribly um, white I kind of like them all to have a little bit of screen to them looks a little nicer so I may go over some of these spots again and again and if I'm just clicking in slightly different places every time I'm gonna get slightly different looks here as you can see it ends up looking a lot nicer I'm still gonna go through and um, shrink some more I'm gonna use the sizer again and just really hone in on a couple areas where I feel like things are maybe too big and just try and create a little bit more contrast between the big ones and the small ones. And then I may shift these around some more. I may actually move some off just so we can have a little less density going on here. I was afraid that that was going to be a thing, and it is. So we're just kind of moving stuff around. And, you know, just be really random with it, you know. There's not a, you don't have to have a huge um, plan when you're going through and, do, and doing something like this. It just kind of needs to look random. And if it looks a little too heavy-handed in one area, then you just get rid of stuff. Um, that might look better. Shift around a little there. So, starting to look better already. Um, another thing that we might do is grab, let's do a new layer. So that's all on one layer, and maybe it shouldn't be. Maybe my symbols ought to be on their own layer. So let's just grab the symbols. Cool thing is about symbols, they're all going to be linked. See, it's all one piece. So I'm just going to copy 
that and this will be my background layer so I can go ahead and lock these two so that I don't mess with them anymore and I might call this snowflakes or snowy flakes snowy let's see snowflakes this one I might call circles for a lack of a better term what we'll do is grab some circles and let's make them a light very light cyan I like that and I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a symbol as well and just kind of do some of the same thing but I don't want to do as much I'm just gonna kind of be a little I don't know less uh, crazy with it I'm gonna try and be a little more controlled here and not have them everywhere all right and then we'll do the sizer again I'm gonna probably shrink most of these if I do anything I don't think most of them are gonna get bigger something like that looks pretty good it's nice and random and then I'm gonna come in and do just a little bit of screen I think but I actually do want some whites in this so I'm not gonna do screen on all of them just on some something like that I like that and then the next thing I really think I want to do is I'm gonna add a little feather to it so that effect stylize feather and let's just see what that looks like it's gonna to be too much I figured as much let's try a little bit less ooh 0 0.05 all right that looks pretty good right there I'm gonna say okay and then I'm gonna come in and add some polygons here let's do I want to do some six-sided here yeah I think that'll look good um, with these let's just do let's just do all white on that and I'll just make these by hand I'm not gonna do a symbol but I'm just gonna kinda make some and they're all gonna be kinda the same let's just do a little bit of rotation manually on these I'm just kind of making this up as I go and sometimes I'll make them a little smaller you know um, and rotate and I'll do something like this a little bigger rotate um, again just kind of being random let's make that a little smaller so it's not right next to several that it's just like this one Maybe this one. I might have made this a symbol. It might have been a good idea, but we're going to do it not as a symbol so you can see the difference, okay? Um, let's just stick with that. Let's see what that looks like. All right, I'm going to grab every single one of these, and we'll just put those on their own layer too. Should have done that to begin with. So we'll say this is polygons. And let's do, let's bring down the transparency. Let's just see what soft light looks like. I kind of like it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of feather to that. Maybe even a little more feather, you know. Might see what it looks like with a little more. So they're really hard to make out that way. That kind of looks like they're just snowflakes that the lights are refracting through and it's really fuzzy, you know, but maybe they're closer to the, the, the viewer, the camera in this instance, you know, which is you. So yeah, maybe that's that. The only thing I might do really is go through here and add maybe a little bit more uh, light areas in here let's see what that would look like if for instance on here 
Ooh, yeah. Like a really light, light color on a few spots here. Maybe what, what does it look like if we add one in that area? And then maybe add another one over here. Yeah, I mean, something like that's kind of cool. So you have some of the, the snow really catching a light source somewhere, and some of it's really not, you know. Um, or lights just kind of coming from a certain direction. I, I like it. looks really neat. So anyway, you can experiment with all of this as you see fit. But that's kind of the gist of how you might make something like this. And, um, you know, an easy way to see sort of a final preview, because I obviously have all of this stuff around the edges. Um, you can actually go... How does that work now? There's a new way to do this. And if I can find it, view presentation mode there you go now you can see what it looks like so that's the tutorial guys let me know what you think uh stay warm as things start to get cold this year and you will likely have some of this falling in your yard all right see you in the next video